going to play this little bit of a game. Was he worth the money? Now, we're talking football, NFL, crazy money, not money as you and I look at the world. We have to check our common sense at the door and look at the dollars paid by NFL people to other NFL guys. All right, John Dorsey made a couple big money moves in the offseason for the Browns. Number one, Jarvis Landry gave him a five-year, $75 million contract. Is he worth the money? Well, here's what. Landry, this past year, played all 16 games. By the way, he plays all 16 games every year. This is his fifth year, and it does it. Caught 81 passes, 12 yards a catch, four touchdowns. I like this. Of his 81 catches, 44 went for first downs. Is he worth the money, given the fact the Browns have struggled to even find average receivers, above-average guy who did make the Pro Bowl team? Yes, Jarvis Landry is worth his money. Second guy. Oh, boy. This is a signing that was done by Sashi Brown. And at the time of the signing, I thought it might work out okay. Jamie Collins for the 2017 season, four years, $50 million. After two years, is he worth the money? No. He only has about $3 million guaranteed left on his contract. Because, you know, they always say it's four years, $50 million, I think like $26 million were guaranteed. Those of us in the real world, oh, yeah, I wish I had 26 bucks guaranteed. But anyway, the point being... Um, the Browns could dump out of this contract pretty quick, and I would not be surprised if that happens and happens very soon. So Jamie Collins, worth the money? No. All right, another guy signed in 2017 by Sashi Brown, and that was Kevin Zeitler. Was he worth the money? He got five years, $60 million, $30 million of that guaranteed, Kevin Zeitler. Guy's a really good guard, plays all the time. Kevin Zeitler, he's worth the money. He may not be a pro bowler, but he's right below that and the other Browns offensive line. Part of the reason it's good is with the money they gave to Kevin Zeitler. Okay, another guy, worth the money. This one's hard to judge. Kristen Kirksey, four years, $38 million. Back in 2017, Kristen Kirksey, four 38 million, 20 guaranteed. I thought he played pretty well the first year of the contract. This past year, he was hurt a lot. Uh, I don't know. And I don't know how John Dorsey feels about him. Uh, so that was an extension, worth the money, not worth the money. I don't know. Joel Batonio signed a $50 million extension a couple of years ago. Worth the money? Yes, he is. Uh, I really like Batonio. Again, Batonio and Zeitler, the two guards there. And I'm looking at these big dollar contracts. I mean, there were some lesser contracts that John Dorsey gave out. For example, like he gave out the three-year, $12 million contract to Terrence Mitchell, uh, why, um, excellent uh, defensive back. Yeah, he's worth the money. Duke Johnson's extension, three years, $15 million, But really wanted to look at the big, big, big dollar ones they gave out. All right, so Zeitler, that's a Sashi Brown guy. Thumbs up. Joe Batonio was drafted by Ray Farmer. Sashi Brown extended him. Thumbs up. Jamie Collins, Sashi Brown, thumbs down. Jarvis Landry, thumbs up. That was a John Dorsey move. You know, the other was he brought in Tyrod Taylor for one year, $16 million, picked up what was left on his contract. You know, in retrospect, it's probably thumbs down. He only played two and a half games. Uh, but at that point, when Taylor came in, the Browns didn't know how good Mayfield would be right away. And also, you know, the fact is, Mayfield not only played very well, he was durable. So they really didn't need Tyrod Taylor once Mayfield grabbed the job in the game three of the season. So overall, there's a little bit of a report card with dollar signs attached to it. And that's how the Browns did. <laughs>